again guys, Daniel here, and today we're going to be doing our second day of Guild Clash. We're going to go ahead and be looking at the opponents again, and today we're going to be fighting Bulgaria. Yesterday we fought Angry Soldiers, and we crushed them, um, but right now we're fighting Bulgaria. We're almost to the point where we get 50k. Let's just go ahead and take a look at the bases we have left. We have the Stronghold and all four keeps down. Let's go ahead and see what the two towers are. We have one with Toxic Shaman and Ambrosia Enlightened, which I'm probably not going to be attacking, but let's just go ahead and see. Another one we have Landslide, and we have Ambrosia to deal with. Um, this doesn't really look too difficult. Let's go ahead and check the aids on here. On the Aquarius Landslide, the only thing we have to worry about is the Pangoli. Not anything terrible there. We have an Aquarius um, Wonton, which is... Kind of difficult to go ahead and kill sometimes. But we have a Pounder Aid. And we have an Arctic Lord Aid. So no worries there. We have an Enlightened Abyss with highly, highly worked into Abyss. Uh, three 5 out of 5 Blessing Down Winds. And it's Pisces of course, because it's Enlightened. And we have a Chiron Blockhead and Pangoli. Um, usually the Abyss isn't too difficult. Unless it can actually get a skill off, then it can heal the base up to full. Um, but right now, we're not going to go ahead and let that take effect. We have a Toxic Shaman on the Great Sage, which will end up killing my Mercenaries, unfortunately. So, since this race will be low health already, we should be able to one-shot it anyway, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and look at the Ambrosia. And we have almost max 5 out of 5 Blessing Down Winds. Thankfully, this hero is not Enlightened. That would make my time quite a bit more difficult. But let's just go ahead and check the aids they have on her. We have a blockhead, so they'll, he'll be hitting even faster. We have a pangoli. And we have a sephirix. Go ahead and have them deal more damage in their regular attacks and skill. But let's just go ahead and just jump into the attack. Let's just make sure we have our four allied wins. Good we do. And let's do our attack on them. And... Here we go. Let's see, and where do we want to attack? We have the Ambrosia in the center. We have the heroes are all on one side. With the... Um, let's just go ahead and... Let's go ahead and attack from this side. With the Landslide and the Abyss Demon. Let's go ahead and get rid of the Abyss Demon early. So we don't have to worry about it later. And activate Landslide skill. Provide some damage reduction. And there we go. And let's go ahead and activate this, stunning everybody for just a little bit of time. Activate those two divines, and I have a feeling that their abyss is about to activate its skill, so let's activate our great sage divine. And then we did our landslide divine, go ahead and remove the pangoliades. And we should have the... Wow, how are they already still alive? How are they still alive? Okay, there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and activate Abyss skill again. Go ahead and just heal everyone up, keep everyone full health, and land size skill, get everyone um, anti aggroed from the Ambrosia. Go ahead and provide a little bit more healing as well. Go ahead and activate Wonton, get some little bit more extra damage. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and just do this. And the skill cooldown is just almost, so let's go ahead and activate this. Get some healing from the Toxic Shaman skill, which will really help out the Abyss and the Wonton. But let's go ahead and anti-aggro again, do a wonton, go ahead and just provide some extra damage, and then anti-aggro the great sage as well. Right now, we're almost done with the chariot divine, go ahead and get as much useful as we can. Aw, oh, we didn't get two toxic shaman skills yet, uh, that's okay. Go ahead and deal with great sage one more time, let's go ahead and do a wonton, get rid of it, and anti-aggro with the landslide. And let's go ahead and do one more Abyss skill, go ahead and heal everyone up again, and stun and stun the Great Sage if possible with the Chariot skill. But right now, land, the Stronghold's almost down, and I'm going to go ahead and do this to provide some little bit of healing. And the this right here, go ahead and just keep the Great Sage locked out so nothing can happen. Um, just a moment, I wish I had the Abyss skill unlocked, but my Great Sage is going to die. Um, from that, unless we can, no, the abyss is way too far away, and I don't have an ambrosia, so I can't just directly heal it, unfortunately. So, it did get its divine off, um, probably gonna go ahead and kill my wonton, 
that we shouldn't have any issues with actually destroying the space. So that's the good news. Let's go ahead and anti-aggro with my landslide. And we have this in the bag. Go ahead and do one more skill and boom. We got that base destroyed. Um, so in just a couple moments, I'm going to go ahead and come back for my second attack. And we're back for a second attack. And this time I decided to go ahead and change my lineup. Take advantage of the Chariot Divine. I replaced my Great Sage with the Ambrosia. I kept these same aids, but I wanted to go ahead and just take advantage of the lineup. Go ahead and just do a spam attack with the Ambrosia skill once we activate our Chariot Divine. Um, and that's because we're going to be attacking a different person. We're going to be actually attacking Darkman. Go ahead and check out Darkman's Heroes Nades. As you can see on the Great Sage, it is Pisces with blessed weapons for all three here, all three talents. And with an over level 20, level 21 skill. But the thing is, he doesn't have very good aids on him. Uh, the only good aid on him is a Pangoli, and that's only a level 3 aid, which only provides 5 seconds of invincibility, which is really crap, especially on a level 185 Pisces Great Sage with near max talents. Um, but let's go ahead and check out Wontons, Talents, and Aids. Um, you can see it, it was put into good effect, um, had a lot of good thought into this, but with these. Talents only nearly max and with a level 21 skill and Aquarius landslide. It does have good survivability aids for the Enchantress, Berserker, and Pangoli. But again, Pangoli is only a level 3 A, so it's only 5 seconds, which is really terrible. Uh, but right now we're going to go ahead and check out Arcane Caster. This one does have 3 5 out of 5 Battle Fever, so it is pretty strong. It is only Capricorn, it's not Aquarius or Pisces like the other heroes, and it only has a level 20 skill. But it does have Wrath. Which is really unfortunate for when I was to use Pangoli Aids. Um, it does have a Pangoli as well, only level 3. If Darkman ever watches this video, I would suggest leveling up your Pangoli Aids. You really need to level up your Pangoli Aids. It will help you so, so much. Even with the Pangoli Enlightened that's come out right now, it will really, really help you out. Um, but anyways, we're going to go ahead and check out Toxic Shaman. He does have a Tyrant's Brand with him being Enlightened. So he is quite dangerous, but let's go ahead and check out his aids. We have a Berserker and a Pangoli, so good survivability, as well as the Chirone, so it has some reflection. And you can see the Berserker aid is fully maxed out, which is good. And you have a Pangoli at level 5, which isn't maxed out, but it is better than level 3. Um, but right now we're going to go ahead and check out Ambrosia with these Battle Fever. She has a 30,000 attack, which is kind of dangerous. Especially with being enlightened. And right now she has anti-abyss aids. Uh, she, I think she should have the bow. Or what equipment does she have? Yeah, she has the bow. So she definitely has anti-abyss aids. Um, but we're still going to go ahead and run abyss and go ahead and attack her. Go ahead and go back out of here. And let's do an attack on Dirkman. Okay, and let's see where we want to attack. We have Toxic over there. Great Sage on the other side. Kind of spread out. Um, right now, I don't want to go ahead and aggro the uh, Arcan Caster just yet. I'm going to go ahead and do it on the complete opposite side. And go ahead and tap my finger on here so I don't accidentally spawn any sort of units that I don't need to. And we have some heroes going over, so let's aggro them with Landslide. Let's do this. And since there's no Landslide, I'm going to go ahead and do both of these. And just do a quick battle over here. And a Landslide to go ahead and just quickly remove those heroes and take them out of the playing field. Um, since they don't have a Rene, so they can't revive them either. Let's go ahead and do this. And in just a moment, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Yes. Okay, perfect. I got a perfect drop. So as long as the Arcan Caster doesn't do too much work, we should be good. I'm going to go ahead and just spam this. Oops, nope. Well, good thing it didn't take away the buff from my... Um... Let's go ahead and just do two of these. I'm not sure exactly where the Abyss is. I see there is a Wonton right there. Go ahead and activate that, clear something. Let's go ahead and anti-aggro with my landslide, and go ahead and heal up with this. And use the Ambrosia Divine, go ahead and restore some healing. Um, right now, let's go ahead and just clear out some heroes, and let my Abyss heal. And right now, the only hero that is dangerous is the Great Sage, but let's go ahead and anti-aggro, and we have this in the bag. Go ahead and get some little bit of healing with the Ambrosia, and... 
We have a wonton. Where is the? Where is our wonton? Okay, he's on the town hall. Let's go ahead and just leave him be. Um, we're gonna wait until. No, let's go ahead and just do this now. Get some healing in the center, and some crit damage as well. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. And once that hero's hall dies, it should do this. And the Ambrosia is gonna go ahead and take care of the gold vault. We'll go ahead and leave her be. And just a moment, we're going to activate that, get a little bit more damage onto that gold vault there. Because uh, they can be quite tanky, gold vaults. Um, which, some of people will actually use them to go ahead and stall. Especially during the wizard attack days. I don't know if any of you remember, but when Skull Mage was popular, he's not too, too much anymore. I do see him used sometimes, but when Skull Mage was super popular, you could just solo bases with Skull Mage and a couple other wizard heroes. Um, a lot of people use gold balls to go ahead and tank a little bit, go ahead and slow down, um, slow them down. A lot of people now just use Pangoli to slow them down because it provides invincibility for the snipers, especially if they're spread out. Um, but right now it's going to go ahead and include the second attack, and I'm going to come back for the third. And we are now on our third attack for Gil Clash, and this time there have been quite a few more bases cleared out. As you can see, the stronghold, keeps, and all the towers are cleared out. We do have two of the sentries basically almost killed out. I'm not going to go ahead and attack them, just because there is so little HP left, there's so little points, that anyone can really go ahead and finish this in our guild. Uh, let's see how many attacks do we have so far. We have 18. Yeah, we should have plenty of attacks to go ahead and clear this out. How many people have signed up for Guild Clash? We have 36 people signed up for Guild Clash. So yeah, we have, we have basically half our guild has attacked and has already done this much damage. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and do um, a full health one, which would be one of these two ones that are out. Oh no, they cleared the other one. So the, the highest one that's at full health will be this one, Bomb. Let's see what heroes they have. They have pretty decent heroes. Go ahead and check out their aids. Um, not so great talents. And the only hero A that will save them would be Pangoli, but again, it's only level 3. What guild is this? This is Bulgaria. Bulgaria, you need to step up your Pangoli aids for your lower players. Because this, this is really, really bad. Level 3 Pangoli aids will not help you very much at all. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and look at the Arcane Caster. Um, the Arcane Casters not have good aids at all. But we're going to go ahead and check out... Um, not have good talents, excuse me. Um, but right now we're going to check out their aids. These are pretty good aids. We have the Berserker only at 40% though. We have the Skull Mage which is pretty good. Um, generally at any level is pretty good as an aid. We have the Pangoli which I assume is their main Pangoli from looking at this. Which is okay. Level 9 aid skill. That's fine. Uh, we have the Great Sage. Let's see if it has a Toxic Aid. Is it a Pisces? No. This is a very crap assortment of aids. I guess you just put them because you just wanted to make it have something. But let's go ahead and check Ambrosia. Um, I would go ahead and put Want from the aids I've seen so far. I would go ahead and put Wanton on your Great Sage. No, I would go ahead and put Berserker on your Great Sage. That way it would be a lot harder to kill. Do you have any saving? In Toxic Shaman. Why did you not put Toxic Shaman on your Great Sage? You can get so many bubbles. I don't get that. Bomb, if you're watching this video, put Toxic Shaman as an aid on your Great Sage. Or better yet, actually put Toxic Shaman on your base. That'll help you even more. But if you don't want to, just put Toxic Shaman as an aid on your Great Sage. It'll help you so, so much. Uh, but anyways, we're going to go ahead and just jump into the attack. We're going to go ahead and attack Bomb. Go ahead and pull him up. And let's see where we want to attack. And his heroes are jumbled up together. So this is going to be an easy win. Go ahead and put Landslide on the side. And activate his skill once we kill that Chiron clone. Um, okay, perfect. And we pull two of the heroes. Not too much. But we're going to do this. And we got Ambrosia healing debuff activated already. And we're going to go ahead and activate Wonton and um, Abyss. Go ahead and do Anti-Stun and Killing Power. And once... I can activate another landslide skill again. I'm going to go ahead and activate his divine after that. And activate his divine. Go ahead and just get rid of all those heroes. We have an, another abyss demon skill. Whoops. 
It needs some lot of healing. Go ahead and anti aggro with um, one ton. And right now I'm just gonna go ahead and do spam attack for Ambrosia. And so we can go ahead and heal up because you can clearly see my Ambrosia is dying. Um, right now I'm going ahead and do a lot of damage with the um, one ton. And this is just a clear in the bag. Because as soon as the carry divine ends, I'm going to go ahead and do Ambrosia divine. Go ahead and just clear out and do a bunch of damage to the actual base. Okay, perfect. And yeah, we don't need to do any more allied wins. This is just a clear win. Um, this is the a quick and easy battle. Um, right now I'm still going to go ahead and activate Abyss Divine, I mean Abyss skill just in case. Uh, we're going to do Toxic Shaman, get a little bit extra damage and crit damage. Um, also help with the Lightning procs. Uh, right now since Ambrosia is on that, do a little bit more damage to that. Uh, Gold Vault. And right now once it finishes we're going to do this here and do Toxic Shaman skill as well. Do a little bit more crit damage and the wonton to go ahead and just get the win. And where are the other heroes that going? Okay, they're coming over here. They're just slowly. And let's do another one for the win here. And perfect. Okay, that we got 700 points on that. So let's see how many points I actually got total. I, what did I rank? I ranked 10th in this guild with 2,000 points. So you can see we been getting quite a few points. Of course, M and Skill still at the top, like normal, with Phoenix and Free close to behind. Um, but yeah, the M and Skill are pretty, pretty strong players. Free is not a not a weak player by any means, but Skill and M are pretty strong players. Um, but as it stands right now, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video. I think the next video I'm going to do will either be a holiday-themed video, or it may be a video with my guest account uh, about El Dorado. But other than that, that will conclude this video. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like or a comment down below. But I will want to thank you guys for watching.